everyone welcome back to my channel this is Yuani again from Zai City Kimono today I'll be showing you five different ways that you can tie the obayage when you're wearing furushare now before I wanted to get into tutorial I briefly want to just show you the kinds of um, obayage that you can actually use three of which they're shibri and this one is chirimen the crab kind of um weave now color wise you can match whatever you want with the first shirt that you have i just randomly picked these three um with first order it's most common to use shibui because that's technically considered the most formal however chirimen is also very much used these two are full shibui and then this one has the blank part in the middle Often with Furusoda you won't come across these decorated ones But you can also use a plain one if you fancy As long as it has loads of colour Then you can pretty much use whatever you want Even even plain ones, if you have like a really bold Furusoda Might be best to use a plain one so out of five that I'll be showing you today, only um, one will, can be done with the uh, chili men. Well, technically you could also do it with the shibri one, however, I find that, that it doesn't give a beautiful result compared to this one, that is. I find this one gives a much more cleaner result. So I'll put these aside and then let's go into the tutorial. First, for the first one, I'm going to start out by folding the obiage in as usual. So one third, then one third. Now, from here, you can either leave it as is or fold it again in half. I'm going to leave it as is. I have the other one in my hand. And what I do is simply place it across and tuck it in. I'm going to repeat the folding process on the other side. Excuse me if you can hear fireworks going on. I'm actually filming this on New Year's Day. So again, you have the option here of leaving it into thirds or folding it in half. Now you bring this over and then you tuck it into the collar. And there we go. This is number one. So for, n for number two, you pretty much want to start out the same. I have already have both sides folded in half. You can pause the video if you haven't folded them in yet. Again, the rest goes out first. Tuck it in. Then the left, it also goes all the way across, and then you tuck it in. So arranging it a little bit. It's okay if you can actually see the one underneath. So this is number two. So again, for number three, I'm starting out with folded now. You want to tuck it in and then fold this part over. So you almost have like a diagonal line. And then repeat the same steps on the other side. Just tucking it in. Just arranging it a little bit. And there we go. This is method number three. So with method number four, it's pretty much the way that you would tie an obiaga normally. Again, I'm starting out with the obiaga folded. Placing left over right. And then tying a knot as you would 
normally with any of yoga really and then simply tuck it in however with furisori you may actually leave a whole lot of ob obiaga visible like a ton this is not even halfway so <laughs> and you can you might actually show a lot I don't think I can get it more now but this gives you an idea of how much you actually are allowed to show you hardly even need to tuck it in if you know what I mean so this is method number four so for the last method we're actually kind of making a bow we want to start out again with folding in the obiage into thirds and then again in half on both sides You may pause the video if you need a little bit of more time. Now, for this part, you can actually choose on each side because we're not making the knot directly in front, but rather to the side. I'm going to do it on my right, your left. What I don't know is simply cross over the obiage like I would normally, left over right. And pull it up. Arranging it all nice and neat. Now you have the short part and then the long part. For the bow part, you will need to make take the long uh, part. And what I'm going to do now is simply fold over and again fold over and place them on on top of the part that we just tied. Now, depending on how wide you want to be, you may want to rearrange them a little bit. You take the short part. I like to fold it again in half. And depending on how much, you can actually do a second rotation. However, I don't have that much left, so I just simply tuck it in. And then I nearly arrange the bow. And then you're done. So this is the fi final method. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have uh, even more ways of tying up yage for Fursole, let me know in the comments down below and perhaps I'll make a second video. I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.